steps. 21 verse 21. Today, let's talk about the righteousness of God. Whoever pursues righteousness will find life. Will find also righteousness of God. And also honor. I was reading the book of Daniel. Chapter 5, verse 18. Chapter 5, verse 18. The moment when you know the righteousness of God, what is right for you to do? And you are not doing it. You stand to get punishment. This is the time that your you know, righteousness must remain. You must live for God. Job 1 verse 1. Righteousness is upright. Righteousness is blameless. People can still blame you. But it must not matter to you. Let it matter when God blames you. Never do anything that can make your God angry. Refuse to do what is wrong. Even if you can be given money, refuse to do what is wrong. Do not stand with betrayers. Do not stand with people who talk against other people. Do not connive with other people and work against another person. If you want to live a righteous life, Proverbs 24, verse 16. Righteous men can meet temptations. Things of them can collapse. Their business can collapse. They can be rejected. They can, be rejected. They can fail. They can fail. But God always will lift them Precious up. Precious men can lose temporarily. He can lose temporarily. But it is for the benefit. He can lose this job. You get another one that give you temporal salary. You just need to maintain your righteousness. Not looking on what devil is doing. James 4 verse 17. Jacob 4 17. Your righteousness is measured by the knowledge you have. And what you have is the one that provoked temptation. You won't be tempted above your knowledge. Let me say it again. You won't be tempted above your knowledge. The moment when you get this knowledge, temptation will come. So that you must leave the knowledge. Don't get out of what you know. I've been telling people that challenges that you face are equal to the results that are coming. Stop complaining about what you're going through. Challenges that you are facing are the preparation of the blessings that are coming your way. Carry on with the righteousness of God. If you stop doing what you know, which is right for you to do, and you don't do it, you have sinned. There's no righteousness without a challenge. Proverbs 16 verse 8. 16 verse 8. Many of us today, we are crying for food. We are crying for clothes. Are just accept yourself. Better you are when you have got right standing with God. Psalm 23 verse 3. Psalm 23 verse 3. If you don't walk on the path of righteousness, it means the name of God will be insulted. Look at this verse, Ephesians 6 verse 14. Breastplate. It's a, it's, a small, it's a small shield that you hold it to your heart. It protects your heart. The sensitive organs. The lungs. Because that's where your life is. Righteousness protects your life. Listen to this. All the arrows that are coming your way, they are coming for your life. So only righteousness 
that when you are carrying on with righteousness, you stop all the arrows of the enemy. Romans 12 verse 19. Many times when we fight our own battles, we get out of the righteousness of God. We become offended. We even offend others. In the righteousness of God, you are like stupid. You are like stupid, but one day, the way God will fight for you, you will cry for your enemies. Ephesians 4, 1 to 3, if you want to be righteous, Make sure that you make every effort to keep oneness. To keep oneness. Because the devil comes to divide. Don't be part of the people who are fighting others. Keep oneness. Number two. Have humility. Humility. It means you leave yourself. You look at others' desires. Humility tells you you forsake yourself righteousness. You work towards other people's righteousness. Sometimes you can give when you don't have. It's humility. You can support people when you don't have. It's humility. Number three. Number three there. You are called to express gratitude because of your salvation. If truly you're a child of God, there's nothing better you can do to please God to thank him that he saved you except to express gratitude by living a righteous life.